Hello students and welcome to our today's class. In our today's class, I would require us to look at the types of index numbers. So basically, index numbers are classified into two, whereby we have the first category of a simple index numbers and we have another category called the weighted index numbers. Those are the two types of index number that we have. But uh, in our today's discussion, I want us to focus on the simple index numbers, what they are and how they are calculated. So with the simple index numbers, with the simple index numbers, one, they are index numbers that are computed on a single or one commodity. They are index numbers that are computed on a single commodity, whereby we want to measure the change in uh, uh, prices in a particular base period versus a particular current period. Therefore, because we are interested in only one commodity, that's why it is known as the simple index numbers. And under the simple index number, we have got two methods that we normally use to calculate the simple index numbers, whereby we have number one, which is known as the fixed base. The fixed base method. And the other one is the chain base. The chain base method. If we can start with the first one, which is the fixed base method, as the term itself suggests, the fixed base, it is where the base year is uh, fixed. It remains fixed. Like we can have an illustration here where we have uh, this. You can be told the index numbers that are uh, we are supposed to calculate is maybe for a commodity which we can say it is sugar. And here we have got the years, maybe the year 2000, 2001, 2002, 2003, up to that point. Eh? So we have the year here. And then, and then here we have the price for each year. And here, maybe our focus is only one kg of sugar. Maybe in the year 2000, one kg was selling at 85. This one, it went to 92. Here it is 100 and here 120. If we are told to calculate the index number for this particular commodity that is sugar, under the fixed base method, then this is what will happen. For the, for the fixed base method, we can take let us take 2000 as the base year. Let us take 2000 as the base year. Therefore, the index for the year 2000, this is for the year 2000, is actually going to be the price for the current year over the price of the base year, which is actually given by T1 over TO times 100%. That is the formula for calculating the, the price index under the fixed base method, where this one is the price for the current year, and this is the price for the base year. And then we multiply by 100. So for the year 2000, it is going to be 85 over 85 again times 100%. Note this, because we are talking about the year 2000, the price for the year 2000 is 85, and the price for the base year is the same as the same year, is the same as the price of the same year. So 85 is the price for 2000, and 85, it is actually our base year price, and then we multiply by 100%, whereby you are going to find it to be 100%. For the year 2001, the current year price now is 92, because we are talking about 2001 over the price of the base, which remains to be 85, then you multiply by 100%. Uh, that one gives us this. It is um, 92 
divided by 85, which will actually be 108.23, which will be 108.24, if we round this off, 108.24%. For the year 2002, it is going to be the price for the year 2002 over the price of the base, which is actually 100 over 82 times 100 percent, whereby you will find it to be 100 divided by 85, which will be 117.65, 117.65. This is actually 85, not 82, 117.65. So when you go to the 2003, it is going to be the price of 2003, which is 120, over the price of the base, which is 85. Then you multiply by 100, which is actually going to be what? One forty one point one eight. like that. That is how we calculate the price using the fixed base method. And note this, in all the cases, the base is fixed. We are using 85 as a, the base year price. And then now what will be changing is the current year price as we move from one year to the next. More often, you can be also be asked, you interpret your answer. Like for example, in the year 2000, the price index was 100%. When it is 100%, it simply means that there is no change. The price is constant. But because the year 2000 is actually the same as the base year, then we don't expect any change in that. But when we go to 2001, you find that it has gone to 108.24. It simply means that the prices of this particular commodity has gone up by 8.24. You just take the index, then you minus from, uh, you minus 100 actually, you minus 100 from it so that you can be able to get that. So actually the increase is only 8.24%. With regard to 0.2002 compared to 2000, the price went up to 117.65. So the increase, it is only 17.65. And here, 2003 compared to 2000, the increase is only 41.18. So the increase, it is what is above 100% only, and not the whole 100 and something. If it, for example, it gives you a price below 100%, it will simply imply that uh, the price went down. That is actually as far as the fixed base method is concerned. Under the simple index number, you can also be asked to calculate uh, the index number using the next method, which is actually the chain-based method. When we talk about the chain-based method, you will find that uh, it is going to be like a chain, whereby if we are talking about the same sugar, and uh, we have the year 2000, 2001, 2002, and 2003, whereby this one was uh, 85, this one was, uh, let me confirm, it was 92, 100, and 120. 92, 100, and 120. If we are using the chain-based method, then for the year 2000, it is going to be calculated as this. But first of all, let us note the, the formula. It is normally given by P1 over P2 times 100% where P1 is the price for the current year, and this is the price for the previous, previous year. So under the chain-based method, chain method, we don't have a fixed base, but now the base will be the price of the previous year. So for 2000, it is actually going to be dash. We can't be able to calculate it because we don't know the price of the previous year. Uh, for the 2000, we don't know the, actually the price for the 1999. Because we don't know that, we cannot know the base or the denominator that we are going to put here. So we normally have a dash there. Then when we go to 2001, 2001, it is going to be the price of 2001, which is 92, over the price of the previous year, which is 85. Then we multiply by 100%. When we go to 2002, 
it is going to be the price of 2002, which is uh, 100, over the price of the previous, which is 92, times 100%. When we go to 2003, it is actually going to be 120, which is the price for 2003, over the price of the previous year, which is 100, times uh, 100%. That is actually the chain base method. So you'll find that uh, we are doing it like a chain. The base keeps on changing. The base keeps on changing. But the key thing is that you need to remember here that the base, it is the price of the previous year. So that is actually now the chain base method. Now, today we have discussed about um, the types of index numbers and our focus was on the simple index numbers. The simple index numbers are calculated using two methods, the fixed base method and the chain base method. I hope you are able to understand that and apply the same concept when it comes to an examination. Thank you for uh, attending the lesson and uh, just go on and find the past papers and revise more on the same. Thank you very much.